thank you all for coming. These thanks I bring you as from the family silence and also from the board. We all know why we are here. We have seen the credit. I won't talk to you about the credit. Other people will do. I will talk about the people, the people that made it possible that this credit is there today. 18 months between the start till today. That means design, engineering, procurement, build it up and test it. That's been a remarkable achievement done by people. Okay. Many of these people are here today, but many are here are not here. They're somewhere in the organization today. And speaking about people, there's one man I want to mention in particular. We call him, let's say, the father of this generation of cranes, Mr. Benny Sarnes, who sadly passed away last year. But this is one of his, let's say, token, his uh, products that we can admire here today. That's it for me, third generation. And now it's up to the third generation, uh, fourth generation, sorry. So I give the word now to Wim Sarnes, our CEO, who will talk to you about the crane. Thank you. For the people inside our company, they already know this, for our visitors to repeat our mission. We as science, we believe or we want to have the mission to be, let's say, the reference in crane rental, heavy lift and special transport. Obviously, this crane is heavy lift. You see some Kamax there for the special transport and you see also the cranes from our partners like T-Rex, Beeper, others. Uh, where we do, uh, let's say, the crane rental with, and that is still a big part, a fundamental part of our business. But our values, zeal for excellence, obviously, when you build such a crane, it needs to be excellent, it needs to be perfect, you can't afford mistakes. Love for tradition, yes, we are a, I would say, family-owned company, but not anymore a family-managed company. Huh? We, we have a very excellent, team worldwide and that brings me as well to the third point global spirit I think the realization of this machine has only been possible thanks to our global footprint first grade as you see 120 we'll come back to that later has been all around the world and this crane as well as many of you know it will leave Belgium soon after this event to go for a nuclear power plant in the United Kingdom brilliant solutions I don't think I need to explain that, it's there. And a dedication to safety, obviously, that is extremely important. Our clients trust us with one of their most important construction jobs, with one of their most important pieces of equipment, heavy equipment, expensive equipment. All around the cranes are people at work, so safety is extremely important. And safety is not just something in the mind of people, it's also to do with procedures, with preparation, and knowing exactly what to do when you arrive on a construction site. Our presence, how we sign is organized worldwide. Well, we have nine regions, nine geographic regions spread around the world, and one global unit science project, which is typically responsible for the more expensive and the more specialized equipment. The markets we serve, well, it's a bit of repetition, but you all will know we work as a crane company worldwide for any industry. Oil and gas, mining, civil works, offshore modular yards, even solar plants, although the image is a little bit misleading, where we tend to work at is solar towers, huge concrete chimneys, we don't top a uh, liquid solution that is heated by mirrors. And there's also some work for us. Offshore wind, forwarding, this means also this crane will work worldwide in any industry. As I said before, it will start in nuclear, but we will maintain uh, a good relation with all our clients to keep it active worldwide. Some key figures about our organization, 4,800 people. We had quite some people extra joining the company for the TCO project. 65 countries. That sometimes depends a little bit, sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. But actually we can say we can work worldwide in any country. Diverse fleet of equipment present in all these industries. 
highly skilled professionals. As mentioned before, I think everybody can buy a crane, but to engineer a solution with it, to prepare the project, to arrive on site, to execute the work safely, that takes skilled professionals. Cost efficient planning, I think cost is a word that is in the minds of many of our clients nowadays. Cost efficiency, how can you do it better, how can you do it faster, how can you do it safer? Well, that is part of our approach as well. That's what this crane is about, saving time on the construction site. Oh, technical solutions, operational excellence, project management, it's all part of heavy lifting nowadays. We see that clients tend to trust more and more bigger chunks of work to us in which they assume or they want us to take more responsibility. And in-house engineering, I think we can be proud to say that this crane has been designed and engineered in-house based on the design of the Rigging International Organization that we bought or acquired in 2009 with all kinds of internal improvements added to that. Talking about safety, I know it's not uh, straightforward, but I think many of you from your own organization know that it's a difficult topic, that it's not something you just say and it gets done in the organization. It is a process, it's a system, it's a way of managing, it's a way of repeating over and over again. If you work safe today, it doesn't mean you will work safe tomorrow. So we work according to this methodology, of an integrated check management system. Safety, health, environment, quality, it's all embedded in our processes. So we don't have a different operating manual or safety manual or quality manual, it's all one manual in which the safety and the quality is embedded in the design of the processes. So underpinned by our policy, our manual, processes, risk analysis, and of course, like always, investigation and improvement afterwards about this machine. We call it the third generation SCC. Why third generation? We used the experience built up over the last six to seven years for building those giant cranes as we call them, the ring cranes in our fleet. When it comes to cranes, size matters. This outside is the biggest land-based mobile crane in the world. Not only in lifting moments, but also in pure lifting capacity. What's so the Special on the crane, the lift moment is at the moment set at 250,000 ton meter and the lifting capacity is limited to 5,000 ton. It's a true giant. If you compare it with Belgium, of course, we all know the Atomium that only comes a little bit above the backmast. The Melium in London, compared to this configuration outside, that we easily dip over it. In the statue of Mr. Trump, we even not see it. <laughs> The outside configuration of this crane at the moment, it's standing with what we call 118 meters of main boom and 52 meters of jib. The main boom can be extended till 160 meters and the jib can be extended till 100 meters. So the actual configuration of the main boom, as we said outside, is 118 meters, but it can become 160 meters. The pieces are laying there, so it's really existing. It's not that we just grow the figures, but we can build it, and we're most likely going to test it as well. This brings that on the main boom, we have a capacity of 5,000 ton, safe working load, at a radius of 40 meters, or in the configuration outside, with 118 meter main boom and the 52 meters of jib, we can lift 4,250 ton at 40 meters, and 1,700 ton at 65 meters radius on the jib hook. What is 5,000 ton? Yeah, it's a huge amount of elephants. It's 1,400, I can already read the screen, sorry. 1,400 elephants. It's about 648 uh, tractors. It's a lot of trucks, Saras trucks. We even don't have them in the fleet enough to make up this made in Belgium. 63 big trains. It's 20 planes, A380. This all represents 5,000 ton. <coughs> So that means if the crane lifts 5,000 ton at 40 meters, somebody is to find all those elephants and try to get them underneath and even sling them to the crane. <laughs> we can put them at the end of the soccer field, they will need a bit less. We need, only need five or 67 elephants, but 100 meters away from the center of the crane. And then if we want to play the airport, we can take up three times an 80 
and putting one or 65 meters away. All this just to visualize the huge moment of this crane. It overcomes all other cranes in the world available at the moment. The crane has a special feature. All of you have seen outside, so you can relocate that side. So it drives on a ring, a double ring compared to the other cranes with 128 wheels, but she can also go from one lifting position to the other one. She really pushes up the total weight of the crane with near 9,000 tons, then drives to the other lifting location and goes down again. This all can be done in less than 10 hours. So it means that we can do day one a lift, overnight we can relocate the crane, the second day we are 100, 200, 300 meters away and we do again another lift. The design and construction of the crane. The crane has been a team effort, as my colleagues have said. There's lots of name of it. We all had a legacy from my father. We all took it up and I really needed them to support me to get to this project. All of them have worked with me 200% the last 14 months. It's been a challenge, but we achieved it as a team. What's the crane? The crane is built up out of uh, 80 load spreading mats, a double ring, some rails, lots of boogies and wheels with hydraulic cylinders, a deck. The deck alone is around 500 tons. The main boom is when you have one or 60 meters, it's uh, 910 tons. That is about 5,000, no, that is 5,400 tons of counterweight. The mass running from the boom foot to the end is 300 tons in total, more or less, and the struts is 270 tons weight. All this builds up the 9,000 ton of crane sitting there outside. That can really go from position A in B in less than 10 hours. It's in fact faster as a crawler crane over there. The control system, some figures. Uh, sorry, I need to look to the screen a little bit. There's 9,000 liters of fuel in the crane at the moment. There's 18,000 liters of hydraulic oil. We have an oil displacement in total of 14.5 liters per minute. We have combined power output of more or less 6,000 horsepower. We have 82 hydraulic filters. We have 2,000 meter hydraulic hoses in the crane. We have 112 hydraulic slowing motors. We have 28 motors to translate the crane. We have 932 hydraulic connections. We have 24 motion PLCs. We have one master PLC to coordinate the whole operation of the crane. We have 6,000 hours of software development for the interface to operate the crane. There's one kilometer special hybrid cable, and there is 2,000 meter of power cable. Where is this crane being built? This crane has been built in Europe. Why? Driven by time, and we had to rely on reliable partners. So she's built in Europe, the UK, Romania, Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, Italy. <coughs> what has been the timeline of the crane? We really pushed the button last year in August to build the crane, which made that the first piece arrived outside of Rien in Montevapier, which were the load spreading mats and the ring. Then the crane frame came, the buoys came, and finally the crane was built up. End of September we boomed up and started to do the testing. Over the past three weeks we have been uh, executing all the tests required for the certification of the crane, which has been a great success and basically we have the papers in hand. The crane is certified. 125% uh, overload has been tested, dynamic and static load. So there you see family, as we, uh, we mentioned, there's at the moment four cranes, three on the market, the fourth one coming available next year. All of them have the same principle, we have low spreading mats to bring it to low ground pressures. The counterweight is made up of those uh, container boxes filled of sand. And hook blocks are on all the cranes the same. Why have we taken those philosophy to really keep to the same basics? We want to, want to have maximum flexibility with the fleet. We can change hooks, we can change mass sections, we can change out containers, whatever is required. Also on the winches, on this crane there is sitting six winches for the hook, four for the main hook, two for the fly chip hook, and there is four boom hoist winches, so it's for booming up and down. Those are the biggest winches. They have, all, they have 2.1 kilometer rope of 50 millimeter on the drum each of them. The power pack are again state of the art power packs with caterpillars. They meet all the requirements on emission and fully redundant. Where are these CCs at the moment? There's one in the UK, as Tim said, one in Kazakhstan, and one over here. So we have worldwide cranes. If you look to this screen, it shows where the 120 is being over the last six years. So it's a worldwide presence of this space because we cover the whole world. Uh, 
updates are also important. So as we set the query, we'll go to entry points in the UK. How do we build up this query? The first thing to arrive is a qualified team, the riggers as we call them. They come with one or more events, a crew of 10 people coming to site. And then there will arrive the crane frame. It's completely containerized, that's why there's lots of those pin connections to stay in the limits of weight and dimensions. And they build together the two main girders of the crane. Then they build in the transversal connections to make it one stiff, rigid frame. They build up the platform, the deck, also this to limit work at height. And then they start assembling the boogies on the ring. The other boogies arrive, and at a certain moment, all this is assembled. Bridge girders are on top. And then we have one big lift, it's lifting up the lifting frame with a weight of about 500 ton, and the boogies are driven underneath. And we can set it down. At that moment, the crane can re start relocating, but she's operational. The next step of this is installing the counterweight beams. And then we start with the deck layout. We put the winches, the power packs, the back mast, the other back mast, the braces in between, the counterweight boxes, so 52 boxes of 100 on each, some uh, smaller beams. Put the main boom on. We bring down the boom boys to boom up and down the crane. We tension everything, and then we start on the fly jeep. At a certain moment, the crane booms up, it's ready, it's ready to go. All this can be done depending on the site uh, conditions between 8 and 10 weeks. Thank you.